What's up guys, Tyler here from Sunfrog Shirts, and in this video I wanted to go over the different social platforms and how to share on those platforms. Now, we just kind of finished the first chunk of videos. Uh, if you haven't seen those, then definitely uh, go back and check out the first five videos, uh, as those videos are where we familiarized ourselves, or familiarized ourselves with the Sunfrog platform the different features we have, how to design your own shirts, or how to find designs that you can promote. And now the next step, the next part of this, is sharing those designs to get people to visit our site, those designs, and to purchase. And on the purchase of those goods is how you make your commission. So in order to get them here, we have to be able to put those uh, designs and our links in places that people are spending a lot of time already. So the best place to do this, since most of uh, society now spends a ton of time on their phones, on social media, is to actually share those products on those platforms that people are on. These are platforms like Facebook, like Pinterest, like Twitter, like Instagram, like YouTube, um, Google to a little extent. Uh, these are the, where, mo where people's attention are mostly. Uh, probably many of you uh, spend at least some time on Facebook. And that's probably primarily where I focus and where a lot of this course will go is uh, Facebook focused social sharing. But for this video, we're gonna go over all your options. Though just know that um, a lot of this course is going to be me running my content, my ads through Facebook. I just feel like it's in the best place, uh, at the best price, the best return. Um, of the other platforms out there. So that's that's primarily where my experience is and where I've made my money is on Facebook marketing. So let's um, let's kind of hop in and take a look at the different the different social platforms. And we'll start with Facebook since that's what we're talk that's what I'll primarily be talking about. But um, there's a couple different options for sharing on Facebook. Now you can do this uh, from your personal page. You could absolutely go to want to your uh, personal profile and share your designs on the page. Now, when I talk about sharing, let's just cover this real quick. Uh, I already had a link generated actually. When I talk about sharing, what I'm talking about is grabbing one of our designs or your own design and making sure this ID is on the back of the design before sharing the link. That's very important. That's how we're gonna determine that it's you that sent the traffic and not somebody else. And make sure that you get credit for the sale of this or anything the customer purchases once they get to our site. So always make sure that your ID is on the back and we'll have a video going over specifically how to how to um, generate these links in some different ways, but I will stress probably in multiple videos, always make sure that is on the back of your URL, very important. So when I talk about sharing, what I'm talking about is actually just grabbing the URL, placing it, right? That's, so when I say sharing, this is this is what I mean. Now the process is a little bit different on some of the other platforms and um, you kind of have to probably play around and, and tweak um, how you're sharing on those different platforms to get it to work properly. Uh, but that's the basic concept. So when I say share, think, mm, posting link on social platform and that type of thing. So that's what I mean by that. So you can do that a couple different ways. You can, again, you can, on your personal profile, you can share links. You could build a page, which I've done here, which I suggest everybody does. Um, and we'll definitely be going over page creation and stuff in future videos as we kind of dive deeper into um, Facebook itself. But you can create a page and you can share content on the page like you saw me do there. And you can also, you can also create ads on Facebook. Facebook has, you see in the drop down menu, you'll see uh, create ads. So you can actually create sponsored content and pay for the distribution of it on this platform. And the cool thing about it is you can actually target people based on specific demographics um, and interests and things like that. So you could like target people who like dogs and, or cows or video games or those types of things. So it's really good uh, for pairing our products with interest because we have so many unique designs we kind of have a product that that pairs up with any one of those interest groups um, and that's where a lot of our affiliates do and that's where they find success is in pairing product with interest so that's kind of 
uh, this is the primary platform we're going to jump in, but let's just go ahead and take a look at some of the others because maybe there's some of you already on Pinterest, already on Instagram, already on YouTube. They're looking for a way to monetize your following on those platforms. So let's just real briefly, we'll hop into to Pinterest next. Um, and you'll see this is the, the basic format of Pinterest. <clears throat> And if you guys have like uh, more in-depth questions on any of these platforms that I'm going to go through today, do check out uh, Sunfrog Academy because we have people that focus primarily on these platforms. Um, and they're going to be able to better serve you in your questions about these platforms than I will be able to. So do keep in mind, we do have Sunfrog Academy and we have some great resources on there already for some of these other social platforms. So um, always keep a lookout for that content if these are your primary platforms because those people are going to be able to really help you hone in and tailor your conversion and those types of things on these platforms. But just a broad overview, on Pinterest the general idea is to actually share one of our products on the page in a, in the form of a pin. So you would actually grab a, uh, a shirt um, image and you would pin it on the page like this and then you could uh, basically what you do when you create a pin is you're going to put a link in the pin itself so that when people click on the pin, they're going to go to our website and get to the actual product itself. Now, Pinterest isn't as friendly in affiliate marketing as, say, Facebook is. Um, but there is, a, there is a paid option on Pinterest as well called Promoted Pins. Um, yeah, you'll find it here if your account is set up for it. You can create ads on Pinterest as well. Basically what you do on Pinterest is your keyword bidding. So you're bidding on the types of things people are looking for. So like dogs, for example, if I was to search dogs and I wanted to create an ad for this, I would be setting up a promoted pin. I would be saying, I wanna charge, I wanna spend uh, 40, 50, 60 cents per click. Uh, and then it goes to auction, and then if you have the highest bid, your pin would show up um, kind of in these top rows here for that search term. Um, and the way you do that is by going to business.pinterest.com, and you can set up your current account or create a new one to become a business account, and then you'll be able to run promoted pins and things like that. Now, this is only uh, for people with a US-based payment source. So if you're a marketer, from outside the US and don't have access to a US based payment source, then um, you can pretty much rule out Pinterest because uh, you're not gonna be able to use it, at least yet. They haven't changed the policies or guidelines on that yet. So the next one we're gonna go over real briefly is Google, everyone knows it. It's uh, the top traffic site, I believe, um, or at least top five uh, in the world. And you can actually, uh, promote stuff uh, on Google. Now there's there's some different ways to do it. We're not really gonna jump into it because it's a little bit technical. Um, but one of the ways is through uh, SEO. Uh, it's kind of a buzzword, it gets thrown a lot in the industry, but the, what the general idea behind SEO is, um, for anybody running a blog or a website or something like that, the idea is doing things on your website that will optimize its ranking on the Google pages. So when people search for particular subject matters, um, you're tagging your content and you're, so that it will get served up when people search on Google. So that's a way you can do it organically. Google also has what's called Google AdWords, uh, adwords.google.com, where it's very similar to that Pinterest model where you're bidding on keyword terms. Now there's a couple of problems with Google. One, they don't really like affiliate marketing. It's very difficult to affiliate market on Google. The other is that Google's uh, cost is is astronomical compared to Facebook. The the amount of money you have to spend to get to bid on a term like dog, uh, wine, makeup, sometimes 13, 14, 20 plus dollars per click on some of this stuff. So as a, uh, a new marketer and someone really just testing terms and designs and content, like Google's probably not the place you want to start because the cost of the buy-in, the cost to convert is so much higher than it is on some of the other platforms. So I would actually uh, stay steer clear of Google unless you're already bidding in that space and kind of know how to work around um, kind of their, uh, their dislike of affiliate marketing. So that one's kind of off the table. Uh, the next one we want to look at is Twitter. 
So I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Twitter as well. Uh, Twitter is another platform that you can promote content on, and they're uh, a lot more friendly with uh, affiliate marketing than uh, than the Google or even Pinterest are. So uh, Twitter is actually a pretty good option uh, for social sharing designs, and Twitter actually has its own set of ads as well. And Twitter's been kind of scaling up the different tools and stuff they have. Now they're still nowhere near what Facebook has, but they're getting better. Their analytics are definitely... You know, their analytics, the tools they have, they're all, like, I would say second best in the space right now. So if, you know, you're trying Facebook um, and you want to try something else, or if you're already on Twitter and, and have a good following on Twitter already, this is probably a good option for you to at least try here. Um, and it's it's a pretty similar, um, you know, uh, auction bid structure as uh, Pinterest and Google, um, but they're, they are playing around a little bit more with uh, interest targeting and a little bit more of a unique style where you're actually like promoting a group of tweets rather than individuals. So you can kind of like test different products and see which ones are working. Um, and, and kind of the difference between like Twitter and, and Facebook is that Twitter actually is kind of more like, um, so I'll kind of paint you a picture here. If you like look at Facebook's ad traffic or coming from the other side here, if you look at Facebook's like ad, um, growth over time it kind of looks like this it's a very slow and steady growth and then kind of levels off and just kind of stays at that particular level um, but if you look at like the your reach on Twitter it's, it's a lot different at least it was when I was testing where your curve is basically like vertical and then it just drops immediately so Twitter is good for like short bursts and then another thing to experiment with on Twitter is even like influencer marketing so you could reach out to Twitter um, uh, users who have big followings uh, that care about the stuff that you're trying to market product into. So whether it be like dogs or video games or or those types of things, you could actually reach out to a, to a Twitter influencer and offer them money to promote your products. So that's a, a different option that kind of exists on this platform. Um, and also on Instagram. And we'll just cover Instagram uh, real quick because it kind of piggybacks off that influencer marketing. Instagram's uh, also a potential um, influencer marketing platform. You can do, do kind of the same thing on here. So as you can see, and most of what you're going to get from Instagram is on mobile. So uh, I would advise checking it out on mobile. But I, as you can see, like Instagram's almost all photo driven content. But you can actually run ads on Instagram as well. Uh, through Facebook because Facebook actually owns Instagram. Um, you can set up an ad on Facebook and actually have the ad also serve on Instagram. So you can kind of hit both platforms. And if you really want to promote on Instagram, I suggest either partnering with an influencer that can drive traffic to your stuff for you or uh, running an ad through Facebook on Instagram. Other than that, it's pretty difficult because Instagram doesn't really like affiliate marketing either unless you're going through a Facebook ad. Um, and they've been known to strip out links even in, uh, even in chat and uh, bios and things like that. So uh, those are kind of your two options for sharing on Instagram. YouTube is another social platform. Uh, here you'll see I'm on my channel where I actually have these Academy videos as I'm uploading as I shoot them. Uh, and kind of the way that you would go about promoting on uh, YouTube. Now, there are some people who place links in annotations over videos as of, I think, May 17th or something, roughly, uh, YouTube's going to be changing that, so you're not going to be able to outbound link through annotation uh, unless it's um, to the front page of a website. Um, so that's going to kind of go away, so I won't really touch on that. But kind of the primary ways is if we click into a video here, you're going to see um, you have a, a description of the video where you could share a link. You could also share a link in comments. And then if we go back out to the front page again, you'll see that there are uh, these buttons here. And these are all customizable as well. So we're not gonna jump too much into that, but you can change these icons and where those links go. So you could even set up a store on the icons up here. And YouTube users are familiar enough with the navigation and the stuff that they know there's these buttons up here and if you call out merchandise links and stuff like that in your banner you can kind of direct people to get to your stores and that type of thing so there is opportunity 
on YouTube, though your focus on YouTube is more branding and content and getting people to know who you are and getting them to, to buy into what you believe and your, your set of values and what you're doing and, and that type of thing. And then kind of like adding in the merchandise as like an upsell to money they may donate to you anyways. Uh, Cause this platform, as well as like, there's some other platforms out there like this um, that are, are kind of donation focused. So like YouTube, Twitch, Beam, those types of things where people will actually like give money for entertainment value. I mean, it's pretty similar to like the cable model, but people have more disposable income as they're moving away from those types of things. But we're getting off on a tangent, so I won't go too far into that. But you can share uh, links in your description, in your comments, and then uh, with these icon buttons as well. So let's go ahead and hop back to the dashboard. So in this video, we, we went over a, the different social sharing options that you have and kind of how to tweak and tailor and use those platforms to promote, share, and drive traffic to your uh, products to ultimately get people to convert and those types of things. So like I said, as we move forward with this video series, we're gonna jump in kind of head first to Facebook and kind of show you A to B, what it looks like to get set up on that platform and how to promote your designs, how to create ads, how to get people to actually engage with your stuff, how to tell whether it's working or not. So that will be our focus moving forward. So thank you so much for watching guys. And as always, we will see you in the next video.